Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the home gym. In today's video, we are going to give you a full review, unboxing setup, and a sample workout of what I have right around me here. This is the Dribble Up Smart Boxing Gloves in this box right here. And we also have the bundle, which includes the punching bag and the base. So we're gonna unbox this, go through it, talk about this. You can see right here, we have the Fight Master, how it differs. It's gonna be a brief comparison during the course of this dedicated uh, review video, but we do have a comparison between the Dribble Up, the Fight Master, and also behind the camera, we have the Fight Camp. So coming up, this is kind of the beginning or the middle of a series of comparing all three of these particular boxing workout products. So for now, we're going to do the dedicated one on the Dribble Up Smart Boxing Gloves, the bag, and the base. Let's get started and unbox everything right now. So this box right here contains the base and we're gonna need to go out and take a trip to Home Depot and get 50 pounds of sand. I believe 50 pounds would be enough, but it does require some sand or water. I was recommended to get sand for this. So of course I'm gonna stick with that as we pull it out right here. I believe this is the place where the water or the sand goes right in that hole right there. We might actually do water. I'm gonna have to check on that because I believe sand is what was recommended like I said and then as we turn this over right here we actually have what I believe to be places to put these rubber suction cups. So we have gym flooring in here so if you have flooring or something like that this will hold or should hold the base where you want to put it. So that screws in very nicely and all these holes right here will contain it. Even the suction cups are sticking to each other. So that's not bad right there to be able to have this, push it down and keep it in one place. Now for our particular situation in the home gym, we're always moving stuff around. So I'm not quite sure if we're going to do this because I have to move it behind either the fight master or over in the corner when we're lifting, it has to be mobile. But if you have a hardwood floor, a tile, or gym flooring like what we have here, even concrete in a garage, these suctions are gonna hold it in place as you use it. So uh, we'll test it out. I'm gonna put these on and we'll see how it works out because it might be able to live stationary for now in the home gym, but more times than not, I'm gonna be moving this thing around. But that's a nice touch. I haven't seen too many boxing bags with the bases. We actually got rid of one, uh, Century, that just kept tipping over. So to have an extra bit of stability on top of filling it up uh, inside the base is a nice thing to have. So inside the bag underneath the suction cups, we have a tool and we also have uh, washers and nuts that would go in here with the bag is my assumption. Uh, we may put that together right now. If not, we're gonna wait till after we fill this up and then put that in there. So I'll, I'll just see what the bag looks like and then we might just have to take that trip to Home Depot, like I said, and pour it in here or find a water source to fill up the base. So here we have the punching bag and this thing is pretty hefty. Uh, at the bottom, like I showed you before, there's holes to be able to bolt it in. This stands up pretty well on its own, so it's pretty sturdy. I'm gonna take the box off and show you. It's pretty tall right there. <laughs> Okay, so let's just get this out. And you can see right here, it's it's a little bit of a thinner type of heavy bag. So compared to like, say the Fight Camp, uh, this is a little bit thinner, uh, but I do like, and I'm just gonna show it from a distance, that you do have these holes here to be able to bolt it down. So it goes from the top of this and then through these, and it's pretty sturdy. I like that combined with the suction cups, and then of course filling it with sand or water, uh, this thing can probably, you can hit it pretty good and it's not gonna tip over like the other, uh, you know, Century bags and Everlast bags that I've had. So the quality is pretty good. Feels nice, feels like a pleathery material. I like that, it's stitched up at the top. It looks very, very nice. Of course, they put their branding in there, so you always wanna make sure you do that. I, I don't do it enough with Stevie Richards Fitness, but that is a pretty, uh, pretty, Good build quality on this bag, I like it. All right, so here we have the Smart Boxing Gloves, and usually some people just buy these on their own because it does uh, track and count your punches. Uh, and we're gonna use the iPhone app and show you how we do that. Uh, but these are basically the core 
of the smart boxing system, and then you can upgrade to the bundle uh, with the punching bag and the base. But most people seem to buy only these, and that seems to be good enough for them. I like to hit stuff. After using the Fight Master, I like having a bag and having a point of uh, contact, so I, I definitely do prefer that. Here we have the gloves. These are sized at a large, but according to Matt from Dribble Up, he said that it shouldn't be a problem for my wife and I to be able to share these gloves. Uh, he has a pair of larges that he and his wife use, so we went with a large just to be safe rather than having it be too tight. And there we go right there. Very nice. I don't know what the ounces are, how large these gloves are. I believe they might be 12 or 16 ounces. I'm not quite sure. You put that afterwards in the uh, in one of the call outs or the lower thirds and let you know what the exact weight of these gloves are. And also what we have right here is a tripod and a cell phone holder. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna set this up kind of to the side of where you're going to punch so it can track your punches or if you have the bag, you're gonna have that on the side. And this is a nice little tripod. Obviously it'll go higher than this. Uh, to be able to be at the height that you're punching. And then you have your cell holder or even maybe be able to fit it. I don't know about my 12.9 inch iPad Pro, but you'll be able to fit a, maybe a regular size iPad or an iPad mini in this. And then this hooks it into here. I have a little eye clip thing that matches this. Screw that in. And then basically you're ready to go. Just like that. Very nice. So I'll make sure that's tightened up better than that. <laughs> and then we'll get going there. I can tighten that up right there. So we are going to fill up the sand. We're not gonna film that and that's not very exciting stuff. We're gonna fill it up and then, oh, by the way, I just wanna mention, if you wanna travel with just this, just this uh, it's very portable. So we're to you know, take the bag and the base out of it or even if you buy that, and we're gonna travel obviously for the holidays as most people do, uh, to be able to travel this and get a boxing workout uh, with the included app and the subscription. We'll get to that while we're doing the actual workout. Uh, this is not a bad portable workout system to take with you. I really, I really wanted to emphasize that because portability in this package, especially with the bag for the tripod and the holder, and then the gloves, you could throw it in your you know, backpack or whatever and then just be able to work out wherever you want. Okay, so we filled the base up with the 50 pounds of play sand. You know, most of it got in there, a little bit spilled out. I do recommend definitely if you're gonna do sand, go outside like we did, go around a bunch of dirt, do that. Uh, we did it in the gym here a little bit and it spilled over onto the gym floor, which we had to vacuum. But outside is best, right outside our apartment was fine. I would really recommend water uh, because water will just fill up all the way to the top. This still could probably take quite a bit of play sand uh, to be able to weigh it down even more. Water though, you'd be able to fill it up if you have a hose. We do not have a hose available. I might even do it over, empty the sand out, and then do water if we move or we have a different spot. But just so you know, I think water would be a better solution than sand, uh, but play sand will still work in this instance as well. And I'll repeat, suction cups on the bottom do work. I had a different surface, a floor, and it's stuck to the surface. Here on the gym mats, it's kind of sticking, but not as much as it would with hardwood, tile, or even concrete in a garage. So now what we're gonna do is we have the bag with the base lined up. And I have to repeat, I really like the way they did this with the holes and to be able to take this bolt and just set those bolts in all the way around. And there's plenty all the way around this base right here. And like I said, it comes with this tool, but I would recommend just taking a socket wrench and just doing that and finding, I gotta find the right size, but basically that would be it, or even just doing an automatic drill to really tighten this down. As a matter of fact, we do have a drill. I have to find the right socket size, which I, no, I have it. I thought I had it and that tightened down nice right there, but I can even use a power drill in order to do that and make it even quicker. So let's just do that right now and come back when everything is put together. So another thing I recommend when you're putting the space on is I have the bolt in the washer here, and then I did the opposite side. That way everything kind of lines up instead of going just right next to it. I went opposite side, and then you can do the same thing too if you wanted to do 
say over here and then grab another bolt and a washer and then kind of do the opposite side which you could see or could not see but basically the opposite sides here and then kind of go to where everything will stay lined up and then waiting to tighten those up until the end or probably tighten it up now that we got four in tighten it all the way up we do have a socket wrench this is the right size I have that tightened up right here and then just locking it in and making sure it's pretty tight right there the wrench they include will do the job but it'll take you forever having a socket wrench will make it a lot easier and quicker uh, to assemble the bag to the base okay we are ready to take you through a workout technically it's going to be our fourth workout combined my wife had done two workouts i did one so this will be my second one using it so i have some recommendations when you're doing this especially alone because once you put the gloves on it's very cumbersome not to mention filming and moving cameras around so we're going to leave the camera here but go picture in picture with the app and show you the class that we will be taking uh, so what you want to do is set everything up on the tripod here and get everything lined up because you're going to have to pair the smart gloves up to the app so once you get the gloves on you want to pick the class you want to take we're going to screen record this real quick and I will take the boxing burn so when I hit this it has 700 points 17 minutes it's the intermediate and it tells you what you need to do jumping jacks jumping squat punch actually I don't like that <laughs> let's go back and see what we have next all right we have power shots and squats I don't like that either um, <laughs> all right this is going to be the hardest part of all so I like the last class I took. I just want to see a beginner. Okay. Boxing cardio. So let's do our burnout was the one I took. So I, I can do that again. So I can pick that and then it tells you exactly what's going on with all the punches. Come back up, hit start class. Now it's going to ask me to pair the gloves. So I want to have the gloves kind of near this tripod right here. So maybe over here and get it to where it can see me punching the bag. So it's kind of, I wanna line it up right here and that should be about it. So put the gloves on. And like I said, once you put them on, it's a little cumbersome. And if you ever put boxing gloves on before, you'll know that uh, you're not gonna be able to use the Apple Watch. So I'm gonna put my workout in right now. Do that, put the water lock on. So the workout counts. I like the bright colors of the gloves too. I didn't think I would like the combination of these and what they offer, but they're good for the branding. Now, see what I mean? You're going to put this on. If you have somebody to help you, that would be great. Sort of makes it a little difficult. I'm just kind of taking you through this. What I would do is, since I'm right-handed, I would put the right glove on first I know these reviews aren't super clean, but I like to show you exactly what it's like when you're trying to get in and out of the workouts. Now I'm going to grab this first. Now we're nice and tight. Now we're going to pair the gloves. You hear the beep and we are ready to go. Beginner, burnout, beginner. That, those two words don't match. Okay. Okay. Okay, that wasn't it. <laughs> I got the mirror in front of me, so I'm going to, have to use it. Now you can Chromecast this, as you can see in the app, up to the TV, but like right now, I'm not able to do that. So if you have somebody else to help you, as I trip over the, the flooring, you can Chromecast it up to this TV so we could line it up and have a big TV above the bag, much like with the Flight Master and other 
workout abs. Whew. Wonder what my heart rate is. Okay. okay. Gotta line up. Gotta get it higher. Now you notice this isn't like the Fight Master where you have target pads. It's more of a cardio kickboxing or cardio boxing workout. Let's get lined up. See if I can beat my old record. Whew. Should have turned the volume down. I know I'm being quiet. <laughs> Just trying to figure it out. All right. The bag is a good quality bag, but you can see it tipping, and that's because I gotta put more sand into it. No, shit. I mean, crap. I am tired. I feel it in my shoulders. I feel it too. A little slower this time. I still got the green bar filled up. Ooh. I'm getting tired. Not gonna lie to you. I keep my hands up. Ooh. I'd say three of 18. Gotta breathe. I wasn't breathing. Whoop. See, the suction cups work great. They're not on the gym floor. Gloves are comfortable, they're size large, but I feel like we're breaking them in. get the gloves so we're gonna see if we can get it I gotta kind of turn the camera for these it's getting it but I can back that up a little bit more for this particular one it's counting them the punch striking is pretty good it was counting almost everything it kind of catches up if it doesn't see it right away I see it too like that or two couple 
I like every two. Oh, you're not counting these. What are you doing? Squad. I suck at these. Now, obviously, on the fight master, you got a target pad for the hooks. So if you're going to do it like that, this is more of a, like I said, a cardio kickboxing. We're going to have a full comparison between this, the fight master, and even fight camp when we get the full reviews out on all three. So this is a full review. Then we got to do the full fight camp one. And then we're going to do the comparison between all three. Whew. Bouncing. I might have to fill this with water and we get some crystals to kind of uh, weigh it down like the basketball uh, nets have. Whoops. Oh man. Sloppy. Make sure this is recording. Oh, thank God. Get a little bit more over here. I know I'm not going all the way over. There we go. I can look in the mirror. <laughs> Boxing workouts are great workouts. I don't know if they include kicks, but I can't wait to do fight camp with the kicking. But right now, my goodness, this is really a good workout. Whew. Whew. My shoulders are burning in such a good way. My core, my obliques, everything. Got the squats in. I suck at these. I'll just use the squat max for this. I'm just gonna punch. <laughs> Just keeps moving out of commentate between rounds, but this is it's a pretty quick workout, you know, probably burning a ton of calories. Yeah. <laughs> 
actually loosen up now. Near the finish line. Thank God. Actually, I'm having a lot of fun now. Man, that feels great. Okay, I gotta. All right, I'm not gonna touch the bag here. Because it's like in this, you can hit it up here. But here, I'd rather. This is where shadow boxing with this is a strength. So if you don't have the bag, you can just use shadow boxing. So. I can take this on the road with me to a hotel and I plan on doing an updated review next time I travel and bringing these with no bag. Cause it's tracking the punch, the hook, and then well the helper cut it. You know. I like that, but like the angles hitting it here isn't as good as these hooks. Uppercuts. God, I gotta get the names right. <laughs> Working up a nice sweat. Man, this feels great. did yoga before this, so I felt nice and loose. Definitely recommend stretching yoga to get your neck and everything loosened up. Hear that? Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. The videos don't seem line up with the timer. I'm gonna keep going. I want those punches to count, man. What are you doing? I'll get it in for you. Okay. Sloppy. Wow. This dude's in great shape, man. Cool down. So, all right, I'm gonna cool down after this video is recorded. 
Let's say I take my diamond in hand. All right, we are up at 161. Burn 204 calories. Okay. I want to see. All right, last one. Let's try it with feet together. I've already stretched. I'm going to turn that down. See what kind of points we got. So, man, I'm at 136 on the cool down. I am sweating pretty well. That was a great workout. I feel nice and loose. I feel like I got a cardio workout. I don't feel a whole lot of impact, especially on my lower body. My knees have been bothering me, bothering me a little bit lately. Um, just come in and do a boxing workout. Like I said, some of the stuff, like the uppercuts, are better with the targeting. But you're, you're getting a bigger footprint with the Fight Master. So that's a quick comparison that we're going to do a more detailed one. But this here, with or without the bag, the app, I'll say the instructors are very, very energetic. At least this one that I've done and my wife had done, I think, another one on the app. I really like that. I like the, uh, the, the idea that you can shadow box with these gloves without using the bag. So, you know, it's not like you need to buy the bundle. The bundle helps if you want a bag and something to hit. But in a way, here's the points. 960 points, 1547. Total reps, 1,044, and I'm ranked 30th. Oh, well, oh well. And also it gives you other stats, leaderboard, all the punches, and all the individual reps for the punches. That's really great. So that's it. That's uh, my initial full review of the dribble up, well, the smart boxing gloves I just put down, along with the bag. So it's a bundle that they sent me. So this is a... Uh, this is a great product. Uh, both of these together, if you like boxing workouts, I'm still at 110 right now. So if you like boxing workouts, but you want something with live and on-demand classes, because they do have some live classes as well, uh, you can do that. And obviously there'll be a subscription attached to that. Uh, but I've been trying this out and this is really, really good. You get the tripod with the cell phone holder. That's a nice touch. Um, and I believe that comes with the gloves as well, so you don't need to buy the bag. I'm not sure of that. I'll check on that and put it in the description. Uh, speaking of description, we do have an affiliate link, so if you want to end up getting the bundle or just get the smart boxing gloves, they also have a soccer ball, a basketball, a lot, a lot, a lot of smart fitness products. Uh, check it out. Link is in the description below. Uh, when you use that to purchase anything, of any of those affiliate links in the description, you help support the content, and sometimes you save a little bit of money, so it's a double bonus. Just like this guy, I tried to get the double bonus, if there was one. Uh, I did more punches. I wish they would have the timer go right to the end, but it's like the Apple Watch. Uh, if you didn't uh, put the Apple Watch on, you didn't work out, don't forget it. I had a great workout, I'm sweating. That's all the proof I need. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the comment section. Also subscribe, click the bell to get notified, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.